guys! Hi there! Hi! Happy Sunday! Happy it is six thirty, I think, ish, and um, almost. ish. Who knows what time it is who or knows? what day it is? But apparently, <laughs> apparently, it's Sunday at six thirty, and this is the time where we would all be together in the fellowship hall, and we're not for the second week no. in a row. So we miss you guys, and um, we're just checking in with you, William Bailey. William Bailey. <laughs> Love you, William Bailey. I can't wave because I'm hitting the, I'm holding the phone, um, finishing all this. Anyways, I get distracted by who all's coming on. Stay okay. on point. I know. Stay on point. I know. But anyways, it's Sunday. We miss you. We love you. We're starting week two of quarantine. We just wanted to see how everybody was doing. Um, please know Raise that. Raise your hand if it feels like longer than a week. <laughs> Five years. <laughs> Um, it's really hard for me because I'm a hugger and I can't hug. I'm a hugger. And it's like messing me up. It's messing me up. And one time Mavis said, why can't I hug? Yeah, why that was sad. That was sad. But, um, we just wanted to check in. We're going to be emailing you a devotion tonight about the Sabbath. We talked a lot about the Sabbath last week and we are going to be, um, diving a little bit deeper into the Sabbath and what it means to have rest and true rest and not just um, rest for a minute or an hour, but what it means to have true rest. So Jackson's going to share um, Psalm 23 with you in just a minute. That's what our devotion is based on today. And um, then we'll talk a little bit more about what's going to um, be coming to your emails. Yeah. So, okay, cool. All right, so before I read it, I just wanted to share a couple things. I was just watching Toy Story 3, cry every time at the end of that one. But it was at the beginning, uh, let's see, the toys thought they had been thrown out, and so they're out by the curb, and um, Mavis was watching this with me. I wasn't just watching it myself, just for the record. Um, anyway, it's the scene where the, almost the, 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 the toys are being thrown out, but they escape. Um, anyway, it's kind of hectic. And uh, Buzz Lightyear says, trying to calm everybody down, he says, you know, this is not the time to be hysterical. Uh, where, where, whereas then the pig or the pork chop or whatever his name is says, uh, no, this is the perfect time to be hysterical. Uh, I just thought that was funny as it relates to where we are with all this stuff. Um, second thing I wanted to say before I read this psalm was that we have hanging on our porch something I noticed today. I'm starting to notice things in this sort of solace or break from everything uh notice things a little more um it says there is always this is a thing hanging from our porch there is always 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 something to be thankful for um and i think i think this is a good thought to marinate on and to keep at the forefront of your mind through it all um just remaining ever thankful um, even in the throes of a quarantine or whatever. But Psalm 23 is normally reserved for funerals, but it's it's not just for funerals. It's for us every day. It's beautiful, uh, the writing, the words. So we're going to read that. And so while I read this, if you're listening out there, wherever you are, in uh, probably at your house, um, in Facebook land, let these words kind of bathe you uh, marinate in them. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jackson. So your devotion that you're going to be getting tonight is um, going to be about finding your happy place. Ella's watching. Ella's watching. Hey, Elle. Hey, Elle. And Pam. Miss Pam's on there. What's up? Um, 
we have ADD. We get we're a little excited about seeing everybody. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. I'm completely focused. Anyways, um, your devotion is going to be about finding your happy place, and I know it's going to be hard because a lot of us can't go to our happy place right now. We can't go. My happy place, you know, is the beach it's with people or the mountains or with people. Yeah, with with people, and we can't we can't be in our happy places, but. To have the time to reflect on what our happy place is and why it is and why it restores our soul um, is is a gift from God. It's a gift from God to have this time to reflect on on things. And, so, and, and another thing about the devotional, the the essence of it is is it's about your happy place, but not just where that place is, but it's about removing things from it, um, and that's maybe just as important. Um, and and that. The deeper meaning behind that is um, sort of your thought life, what you're thinking about, uh, what you're worrying about. Let this break that we find ourselves in be a true rest, a, a place of restoration, not just short term, you know, let's hit the pause button and then go back into the craziness um, and, and whenever this thing goes away. Let's use this as an opportunity to reframe and restructure our uh, our way of living and our way of being and omit from our brains and our minds all that we toil over and worry about and uh, so part of that too is finding that happy place it's the place that might replace all that was there before this this is a golden opportunity if if we um, allow it to be yeah and we talked to uh, we talked a lot about that last week about how this gift of time even though it's stressful and weird and strange it is a it's a gift it's a gift from god to have time with your families to have time with each other have time with yourself um if you're a lot like me you don't have a lot of time to yourself and so to have some time carved out to you know i don't know think about life and think about um what your happy place is and what it means to take a sabbath and take rest is a, is a real gift, and I think we should honor that, um, that God has given it to us. Um, so make sure you check your emails. I'll try to send it when we get off this in just a minute. But um, I also wanted to say that it's okay to feel all these different feelings. I've had um, some youth reach out to me this week, and um, yeah, it's okay to be angry and sad and anxious and tired and maybe even a little depressed. I mean, seniors, you guys are missing your last part of your high school career, you don't get that back. Um, you don't get that time back. So I know that's, that's super, super hard. Um, and all the things that are being canceled, um, it's, it's really hard. So just, it's okay to be with your emotions. I just wanted to say that, like, it's okay to feel these different things. Um, and it's, it's okay to have time to work through all these different emotions. Um, God gave us, you know, sadness and happiness. He gave us um, excited and anxious, and he gave us all those gifts, and it's, it's okay to be in those emotions. So saying that, if there are any prayer requests that we can pray for you, um, feel free to reach out to me, text, email, instant message, whatever. Um, get in touch with me, and um, we will put you guys on the prayer list. We're always praying for you, Jackson and I, and all your faith keepers are always praying with you. And we we have some things. We did Sunday school this morning on Zoom. So we were super excited about that. Um, and we're having life groups this week on Zoom, high school life groups Tuesday at 7, and God's Girls Tuesday at 6. Um, so make sure you call into those. And then also our um, spaghetti dinner, our virtual spaghetti dinner, will be Wednesday night. So we encourage all of your families to make spaghetti and eat spaghetti as a family and then take a picture and share that with us. Um, you can either email it or post it and tag. It's a hashtag WUMC 412 youth. So, and a lot of people in our congregation are donating a dollar for every picture. So, Pastor Doug, the Hams, I know Mary Gray's watching. Thank you, Mary Gray. Um, the United Methodist Men. And the Selbies are all donating a dollar for every picture that we post. So eat your spaghetti on Wednesday night. But um, 
I just wanted to say we love you guys. We have not forgotten about you. I know these are strange, strange and um, anxious times. So, um, Jackson, do you mind closing us in prayer? No, well, let's go ahead. Let's bow okay. our heads out there in Facebook land. Dear Lord, thank you for all our many blessings. Thank you for this day. Thank you for uh, anxiousness. Thank you for sadness. Thank you for um, all of the whole gamut of emotions that you give us. Help us to see uh, all of these things as ways to establish proper perspective, to appreciate the things we have more, uh, to not be complacent, uh, to not just expect that things should always be as they should be and just start taking them for granted, Lord, but let us uh, just really reframe the way that we see our world around us um, and just live in an ever-present sense of appreciation Lord, for you uh, first and everything else second. Uh, dear Lord, thank you so much again. Uh, give us peace, Lord. Give us rest and restoration. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 We love you guys, and maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll do a midweek check-in. We won't wait till Sunday. So we always love spending time with you. Hopefully we can be back in the fellowship hall soon. Um, all right, everybody have a good Sunday. Enjoy your devotion. Love you. We love you. Bye. Talk to you soon.